Hi and welcome to another edition of How to Sing That Song. And today I'm doing the song that has been the most requested recently. Stone Cold by Demi Lovato. Now it is truly a powerful song and she sings her heart out. However, if you have listened to the studio version and also to the live versions that she has been doing, and of course she is an awesome singer live too, you will notice that she does something different when she sings live. First of all, she does it a little bit different every time, which of course, if you do live gigs, you can't always give as much as in the studio. And also you have to play it maybe just a little notch safer because in the studio, let's face it, you can take it all apart. You can do it over and over and over and over again. You can show like everything the whole enchilada when you do in live you want to show the whole enchilada but it's more about transporting feelings and not doing so much acrobatics vocally so we kind of have to walk the fine line here the challenge the biggest challenge about this song is that it goes so low and so high and let's talk about how to do this i'm doing it in the key that's originally done in a flat major so it has this Intro. Stone cold, stone cold. You see me standing, but I'm dying on the floor. Stone cold, stone cold. So you want to barely, it doesn't even have to be really absolutely clean. It's about being desperate. And it's like, okay, you left me and I'm just here. Like I'm on the floor and I'm stone cold. I'm just like dying here. Stone cold. Oh, I'm cold as a stone. It's like you're barely hanging on to life. So it needs to come across. It doesn't need to be too clean. So and here again, don't go. You see me standing, but I'm dying on the floor. You see me standing, but I'm dying on the floor. And also that bending the pitches really expresses the despair that you're in. You see me standing, but I'm dying on the floor. Yeah, oh goodness. Stone cold. And she does breathe, actually between stone cold maybe if i don't cry i don't feel anymore and then she goes up stone cold and she goes up and you totally can do this in head voice however don't go baby don't go into classical mode kind of stay very narrow back here and don't lift the soft palate too much. It's really, you may stay narrow here. And there's a few more instances where you can do that. Stone cold, baby. God knows I try to feel. And here, now she goes. Demon Lovato here takes this very narrow throat approach, which works actually because you have tons of twang in it. And I showed you recently um, in another video about the twang that, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with certain vowels, you can totally put a lot of twang in it. And she, let me show you the difference. If I were gonna sing it with a more open throat, just if I wanted to sound extremely beautiful, like in musical theater, I wanna sound clean and clear and all this nice, perfect sound, I would go, Happy for you, know that I am, even if I don't understand. However, she doesn't sing like that. That would be kind of my neutral voice here. But she kind of goes, happy for you, know that I am, even if I can't understand. I'll take the pain, give me the truth. You see? It's more like this. It's a little bit more narrow versus the very open singing. Keep it very, very... It's kind of like in, an, in, in a lifted up position. Don't really press it, but just make sure the, the vowels get a little bit more narrow so it's not 
I take the pain, but it's I take the pain. It's a little nasal actually on purpose. And she does that in order to have that effect of, it's like, what if you were really almost crying? It's like, oh no. It's not, yeah, I'm so upset now. And I'm paying attention to be really clear and have an thro open throat. No, you wouldn't do it like that. So try to do that. I take the pain. Give me the truth. And now comes this scale. It's not kind of scale. It, it is this pattern right here. It's a sequence. Let's do it slowly first. If happy. So you want to go. If happy. Practice that slowly before you go faster. Because only when it's clean is it going to sound good. It's not going to sound good when you go. If. I can't even do it unclean, but it's like you want to make sure you know which pitches you actually mean so it doesn't really, it's not too sharp or flat anywhere. Make sure you hit the right pitches here and do it slow and speed it up. And what I do here, just because it is very high for me, I can't quite do it not in head voice or mixed voice. I do it kind of a mixed voice slash head voice. Um, do it slow. <laughs> So make sure when you go high and it is in a head voice that it's not if happy, stay kind of flat. If happy is high. And I kind of just switch back into chest voice whenever I have those long pitches again. It's so much easier. And make sure that the break isn't too harsh. If happy. Ha, ha, ah, it's very, it's very narrow back here. And that's how I can actually do it without the break being huge. All right, then comes another verse, but we're not going to go over that. We're just going to go over the end of that. Stone cold, baby, God knows I try to feel happy for you, and so on. Don't let me be stone cold, stone cold. Now comes this middle part. The energy is even higher. You want to try to belt it out in a more chesty fashion here. But keep in mind that you shouldn't aim for this huge tone, but more like, I wish I could whisper, but here is my again if happy is hell then if happy is drama break drama break then I'm happy for you so and the endings are even different depending on when and where she did it and that's a cool thing because she shows Demi shows that you have to own the song and that's what it's all about own it and when you go high and you can't belt it out in chest voice own it own that you do it in head voice or in a mix register just own it and be convincing about it whatever you do and my goal here is not to do it like Demi Lovato and my goal is not to show you exactly how to sound like Demi Lovato. She is an awesome singer, but so are you when you're doing it in your own way. I'm just showing you a few things to think about, to experiment a little bit. And sometimes it helps just to kind of try to imitate what somebody else does in order to learn something and then come back to your thing again and not try to copy and just, you know, continually copy what somebody else is doing. Keep that in mind. But the cool thing here is with a song, you can do so much if happy is hell, then I'm happy for you. Oh. Also, 
you can do anything you want as long as you own it. And that's the main lesson here. Own it and do it in your own way. Well, I hope I helped you do this song a little bit. It's awesome. It's definitely awesome. However, one exclamation marks here. One word of caution. When I listened to some recordings of Demi Lovato doing the song, let me just, this is just my opinion as someone who has, I have trained other singers for the past 15 years and I've heard what happens to people who sing in a certain way or another way and the way Demi Lovato sings sounds totally awesome and she has a great voice and she's a great singer. However, I would be a little bit worried because a lot of times her voice sounds very scratchy and to me it doesn't sound like it's ever going to go away completely if she keeps on doing this for many more years to come. She does it for 10 more years. I would be cautious. So to go all the way vocally, you can do that in the studio, but if you do this all the time, you know, having gigs every week, five times, <laughs> five times a week or something, or even once a week, if you do that a lot, be careful. You can do here and there with a song. You can give it all and just kind of kill yourself over it. That's not going to do any permanent damage. But don't kill yourself over a song too often because it will, in the long run, kill your voice. So you want to be careful. If you still do want to sing crystal clear notes for the rest of your life and have this very light and easygoing voice for the rest of your life that works, that you have full control over, You may want to be a little bit careful. So that's my word of caution here. And the rest is up to you. Just be careful with your voice because you only have one voice, one pair of vocal cords. You can't go buy a new guitar because these here can't be bought and they can't be repaired. I mean, yes, they can be repaired if you have nodules, but it's very, you never know if afterwards you have the same voice if you have a surgery going on there. So, thank you so much for watching. And here's one more announcement. Just because I want to help more singers like you find your own awesomeness in your voice and also make a success out of your talent. Because talent is great and the art that we're performing is great, but what do you do with it? I'm going to help you do something. So, for that, I created a master class. It's a three-month program that I want to work with you with. We, we have one-on-one -on -one sessions and we also have group coaching sessions where there's always one person, it's their turn, and we all strip down naked, figuratively speaking. And I want to help you really get to the next level and really find the awesomeness. And also in the group, push each other. Push each other to you know, achieve the goals vocally and also mindset-wise and also business-wise as a singer. So check that out on my website, FreyaSingingTips.com. You can find all the details there. And uh, until next time, don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.